You were probably watching the Bambi Bambenic Bam story on, AV, on Channel 7, tonight's ABC movie, before our program began. She was a police officer in Wisconsin, convicted of killing her husband's former wife. She was sent to prison, she escaped, she was recaptured, and is petitioning now for a retrial. Celeste Ford tonight has the story of the real Bambi Bambenic. Celeste? Bill, since her murder conviction, Bambi has lost three appeals and two motions for a retrial. But now she's winning publicity and sympathy. Freedom could also lie ahead for the real Bambi Bambenic. With her hands and feet in chains, Lorencia Bambenic returned from Canada to Wisconsin last month. Marshals escorted the winsome killer back to the prison she fled a year and a half ago. The former Milwaukee cop and her boyfriend spent three months on the run before a tip led police to their Ontario hideout. I was so desperate that even one night of freedom to me was worth it. Even one, you know, even one night. The Bambi saga began 11 years ago with the murder of Christine Schultz. She was the ex-wife of Ben Benick's husband, Milwaukee police detective Alfred Schultz. Investigators say Ben Benick used his gun to shoot the mother of two in the back. During the trial, the former model says she was framed by police because she charged the department with sex discrimination. But the prosecution convinced the jury that a greedy Bambi killed so her husband could be spared alimony payments. It is the sentence of this court that you, Laurencia Bambenic, are to serve a term of life imprisonment. Today, the evidence from the trial is stored inside this vault. Here we find Alfred Schultz's 38 caliber off-duty revolver. The prosecution says this was the murder weapon. But now, Ben Benick's defenders have new information they say proves the state is wrong. In my opinion, that gun didn't cause the murder. Former New York City medical examiner Michael Bodden is the third expert to reach this conclusion. He says the muzzle of a gun, when fired at point-blank range, should match the size of the entry wound. In the case of Christine Schultz, it does not. The leader of the Save Bambi crusade says this supports the switched gun theory. It's a cover-up. The fact is they did what they could to get rid of her and protect themselves. And the private investigator claims Ben Benick's husband was in on the police conspiracy. Bring it to court. We've looked at it. There's another side. If it, you're so sure of it, bring it to court. Just take it to the courtroom where right. the facts come. Ben Benick is fighting for just that, another day in court. On good days, I, I feel like I have a lot of support. On bad days, um, you know, I feel real um, persecuted. It's been difficult, you know. A judge is investigating the evidence used to convict Ben Benick, and the results could lead to a retrial. Meanwhile, the folk hero Bambi is the subject of three movies and at least three books. Susan, Bill? Thank Mark? you, Celeste, very much. Must have felt strange to handle that gun. <laughs> a little dark at times today.